Welcome back to the people, welcome back to this channel. So in this video I'm sharing with you the real Jamaican Guinness punch. But first let me tell you a little info. Guinness punch is considered an aphrodisiac in Jamaica and I am talking specifically about Jamaican Guinness punch, right? Although it was introduced to the island by the Irish, Jamaican men especially added more ingredients to it because they believe that the ingredients that added to the Guinness sponge can improve their sex life. For example, peanut. They said that peanut contains amino acid or something else that can, you know, improve sexual desire and how long you can go on it. Or how long you can stay funny, I should say. Right? And they also put oats into it. Well, either oats or peanut. Oats they considered as well contains some sort of ingredients that having to do with increasing your sexual desire and increasing the length of time that you can stay on it. So, they added it to the Guinness sponge as well. So, either you use the oats or you use the peanut. Because remember now, some man, when they go check their home on the road, they eat a lot of peanut and drink Guinness. And then, they go check their home and say, what? They were good last night. Yeah, because them for the peanut mix and the Guinness, yes, make me still long on it. But doctors dispute it and say that it is from a psychological point of view. So anything where your mind tell you, you have a feel the effect. So if you believe that you work, it will work. You understand? So I am talking specifically about the Jamaican Guinness sponge. It is considered as an aphrodisiac. You understand? And there's a special way to make it. And I'm gonna share it with you. Yeah man, so with the Jamaican Guinness sponge, we either use supplement or nutriment. You understand? I use nutriment because of supplement are really agree with me and so I wash the, the can of nutriment and then I put it into a freezer I wash the bottle of Guinness and then I put it into the freezer as well I put the blender jug or jar or whatever you want to call it into the freezer as well and i put the serving glass into the freezer as well so i need everything to chill because you're not supposed to put ice in it you're supposed to drink it before the front disappear right no ice in it don't, don't put no cannons milk in it because supplement if you use supplement, it is already sweet. The nutriment is already sweet, right? It's like ensure. So you don't need to add no more sweetener to it. It's sweet enough. And you don't put ice in it. Uh, you drink it immediately after you blend it up. It's not something that, whether you want to blend it or you want to mix it, mix it without the blender. But it is not something that you put in the fridge until the next day. I suddenly you blend up or mix up and drink immediately. And then you go sit down and you tell yourself say it work. And then you will feel say it work. And you go and you have my food. I feel and funny. Yeah, so that is the story behind Jamaican Guinea sponge. Now for the recipe. As I mentioned before, you can either use peanut or oats. Peanut contains amino acid and another ingredient that enhances sexual desire. 
and I am using unsalted peanuts so what I did I purchased the raw peanut and then I parch it on the stove top I will show you how I do it in another video and then I allow it to cool and then I remove the red skin and then I put it into a food processor to get it to the powdered form now this step is optional you don't have to put it into a food processor because you can always put it in a blender but I do not like to feel pieces of peanut sticking to my throat so I rather to use it in a powdered form so pour the cold guineas into a blender and the nutriment about three heaping teaspoon of peanut one eighth teaspoon nutmeg and a pinch of salt A splash of vanilla blend for a couple of seconds Now pour into a chilled glass and drink immediately.